Hey, what's up, Jeremy? This is Nate from Web801. Um, as I promised you, I'm going to do a quick video audit for you. I've made a list of a few things here that I feel like you could do to improve your site. Things I noticed, some that I like, some that I would encourage you to update that I feel like could substantially add value to your site and help you track better return on investment. So I'm going to go through these. And the first thing is you have a good job with your logo, um, your top navigation is pretty good. It's a little bit small uh, on a desktop. Um, it could be bigger. And a lot of times on a top navigation, I like to have like a bigger call to action here of what I really want them to do. That way, when they scroll down, if your top navigation sticks, they'll always see the call to action. I did notice when I scroll back up, that navigation appears again. But when I scroll down, the navigation disappears. So that's one thing. If your website is able to do that, cause the navigation to stick, that'd be good to have a call to action button here, which is like book now or schedule today or whatever. Another thing I noticed is I'm not a huge fan of drop down menus. For example, I mean, you have the home book here, book here, the about, and then more on hover, it drops down. Um, it kind of blends in. Um, you know, on a phone, it's not going to be as easy to find that drop down navigation. So that's something that maybe I would spread this out, utilize this space more, put some of the most important pages like contact us um, or visit Spanish for visit Springville. You know, the about page could have the barbers with it instead of when I go to the about page, it takes me here and I see all this information, but there's nothing about about the barber. So maybe combining the about and the barbers page, because really the barbers, all of this is who you are and puts names to faces. There's Mercedes. Hi, Mercedes. Um, so I might merge those together. Going back to the home page, as I this is called the above the fold or the the entry point of the website. When I get here, the first question I ask is, well, what do I want the visitor to do? And Obviously, if here you want them to purchase an e-card, that's the first thing. This, although this is good validation, it doesn't really encourage me to do anything. It just shows, oh, you're 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 rated the best of Utah Valley the last three years in a row. So we might want to think about putting this down the page a little bit because really this top section, we want to invite them to do what we want them to do, which ideally is schedule an appointment. Now, if I scroll down, I like the video section. That's great. Um, that could be moved up even to here and utilize the space a little bit better. Um, the other thing we talked about this today, and that is you offer a variety of services. If I go to this page, I think it's book Spanish fork. Not that that triggers this pop up, which then shows me some of the things you do. But on the home page, there is no mention of all the services you offer. So I might consider that if I go here to like visit Spanish Fork, this is a cool, I like this. And this could be a consideration for the homepage where you show the team, uh, you show the location and maybe show both locations. I also like, as I scroll down, then I see, oh, the fellas cut, the beer detail trim, the classic shave, the facial, the waxing, the design. This is really what you do. So why not have this on the homepage? So that's some something to think about. Um, another thing to think about is you have the book. Now, if we go to the home page, I scroll down, you know, there's a small call to action there, visit location, book online and more. Um, it doesn't really stick out. It kind of blends in. So thinking about making that more obvious, I do like that you have the good validation section here with the testimonials. This is probably where you could put this section as well so that you can utilize this space up here better um, you can move this down maybe put the the videos of springville and spanish fork side by side so they can see both locations instead of having having them scroll clear down and utilizing all this space so those are a few things on my list i have quite a few others if you'd like to talk more about these let's schedule another call where we can discuss what what's going good and what you can continue to improve Thanks so much for your time. Again, Nate from Web801. You can visit me at web801.com and I'll include in the description below a link to schedule uh, a call. Thanks a lot. Take care.